Hello everyone, this is John Fawcett, Warning Coordination Meteorologist for the National Weather Service Office serving southern New Mexico and far west Texas. This weather briefing is about an active thunderstorm episode that has already begun, but it should be increasing tonight and peaking on Wednesday. And then by Wednesday afternoon, uh, especially after sunset Wednesday evening, starting to back off and shifting to the east on Thursday. You can expect locally heavy rainfall, some of that producing flash flooding, and also some thunderstorms may reach severe limits, meaning wind gusts 60 miles per hour are stronger or hail the size of quarters. The potential impacts, well anytime you have rainfall after an extended dry period, you have slick roadways. Add to that low visibilities from heavy rainfall and you're going to compound your traffic issues. Temporary street flooding and worse than that, some low water crossings may be impassable. Turn around, don't drown. Some of your hail will be large enough to cause damage to structures, windshields, uh, crops, vehicles, and strong winds blowing hail could also impact uh, windows in your houses. Damaging winds could affect weaker structures, uh, rip off tiles from roofs, and also maybe the worst is downing trees with the trees falling on uh, structures and vehicles. Any outdoor events could be delayed or even canceled due to the weather uh, phenomena uh, and especially because of deadly lightning. Now here is what the Storm Prediction Center uses for its risk categories whenever you look at their maps. And I'll show you a map in a moment and our area will be under the darker green. That's a marginal risk. And whenever they think isolated severe thunderstorms are possible, uh, that's pretty, uh, it, that gets my attention because we're in a different climate regime than the plains. Uh, we're on the western edge of a large marginal risk area for Wednesday. The Weather Prediction Center also puts outlooks uh, into effect for uh, average rainfall. This is Tuesday through Thursday through the total event. Uh, they think they'll be uh, near an inch, maybe even more, in our northern areas and down to the southwest, uh, not as much. But remember, this is an average. You can have individual storms producing one to two inches of rainfall uh, without much of a problem. Here's the weather scenario. We've already had a backdoor front push in from the east and past the Rio Grande Valley, bringing lots of moisture in. Even before that front, you had a little bit of moisture and weather disturbances acting on that, and we actually had some small hail here at the the office this morning. Now that upper low to the west, watch what happens as we move through the time period. Here is tonight at midnight, it's a little closer, providing plenty of lift. Your front is still there, providing lift from below. You still have plenty of moisture, maybe even a little more overnight. So the thunderstorm potential continues and uh, tomorrow morning the upper low is providing plenty of wind shear and rising motions. We've already had wind shear today, it's just going to get uh, worse tomorrow. And uh, your moisture still remains and by the time you get to noon, everything's there. Wind shear, plenty of moisture, plenty of lift. That'll be the highest threat of severe thunderstorms and flash flooding if they are going to occur. Remember, wind shear uh, can organize your thunderstorms and give you a better chance of severe weather. 6 p.m. Wednesday, uh, we're still cooking, but things start to back off a little bit as the upper low uh, weakens somewhat, starts to push on to the east, and your front weakens, uh, but we still have plenty of thunderstorms. And by midnight, your severe risk is probably dropping off quite a bit, as well as your flash flood threat. But still plenty of moisture around for thunderstorms before that drier air pushes in from the west. Uncertainties? We've seen before when you have a strong push of cooler air from the east, it's too much cool air and it's not unstable enough for thunderstorms. You just get a steady rainfall, little if any severe weather, and I know that's what most of you would want. Cannot uh, really count on that though. We're going to go with the worst case scenario. Uh, unfortunately, we can't tell you the exact locations of severe weather occurrences or flash flooding. A large area 
will have the chance of thunderstorms, but not everyone is going to get a thunderstorm. No watches or warnings currently in effect, that's Tuesday afternoon, but we anticipate issuing severe thunderstorm warnings and flash flood warnings, especially Wednesday afternoon. So the summary, you have your thunderstorm threat increasing overnight, peaking on Wednesday, uh, that's Wednesday afternoons when you have the greatest chance for a few severe thunderstorms, perhaps a flash flooding here and there, and then um, the flash flood th threat, excuse me, flash flood threat, say that fast three times, starts to back off. Uh, yes, it would be nice to have too much cool air behind the front to reduce the threats, but we're not going with that. Thanks for listening. Monitor the latest information, especially when the timing of uh, those features could change. Uh, we have our Facebook page, Twitter handle, uh, YouTube channel, that probably how you're watching this video, and our web page. Once again, thank you for your time.